Good evening, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0 Day 10. So lately we've been talking about contacts and our contact submenu and applet. And yesterday we talked about the importance of having addresses and or adding your contacts to neighborhoods that they live in and possibly neighborhoods that they would want to move to. Another important reason to have neighborhoods assigned to our contacts is the ability to add them to our monthly or bi-weekly neighborhood nurture smart plans. So I wanted to show you what that kind of looks like and walk through that process today with you. So we're in our contacts sub menu here or applet. And yesterday we added the A seller contact and I'm going to go into that contact record now. And yesterday we played with the neighborhood. So we added uh, this contact to four different neighborhoods here. And to add them to a neighborhood smart plan, the next step that we're going to take once neighborhoods have been assigned is to come over here to the right hand side, this panel and click on smart plans. You'll see it looks like a seller does not have any smart plans yet. So I can click on add to smart plan. And now this screen may vary. You may see no smart plans here. They may say you don't have any smart plans yet added. If that's the case, you just want to come into the Smart Plans library and check out the, live, the uh, Smart Plans that are here. We're actually going to do a series on Smart Plans and dive into all of these a little bit further. And yet, I wanted to talk about the Neighborhood Nurture. So you see the Monthly Neighborhood Nurture here. We also have a Bi-Weekly Neighborhood Nurture. So you've got two different versions, one that goes out every four weeks and one that goes out every two weeks. The Monthly Neighborhood Nurture goes out every four weeks, so I can click on Select. It's going to say please confirm that you want the following contact to be subscribed to the smart plan a seller is going to be subscribed to the monthly neighborhood nurture smart plan which is three steps and one touch so basically i'm going to manually add them to the program they will get a monthly neighborhood nurture email the system will wait 28 days and then it will send that same email or well, at least the same shell the content will have changed and been updated and yet they'll send the same type of email again wait 28 days and repeat until infinity or they unsubscribe or you remove them from the plan so i'm going to go ahead and click on confirm and that's going to set this contact up on the monthly neighborhood nurture smart plan you can see it here on the right hand side the plan is active i added them today it says date last executed december 1st so what I would recommend you do if you have not already put yourself in as a contact into your database is add yourself, put in your real phone number, your real email address, your real address, assign yourself to a few neighborhoods, and then go ahead and assign yourself to this smart plan. What's going to happen is you're going to start seeing the emails from the smart plan so you can get a little bit more familiar with them. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways. First of all, obviously, if you get the email, this is what it's going to look like. So it says, Marty, here are your neighborhood trends. It has my branding information here. And it says, I'd love to discuss some trends. It's going to show the neighborhoods that I've been assigned to. It's going to show me how many active listings there are and how many pending there are. I can then click on view all and be taken into the actual neighborhood nurture landing page. Um, I can also view this exact page from command when I'm in my contact record. If I haven't sent myself the email, or I want to know what that page looks like. I can click on preview and again it'll take me into that exact same page so when we look at this page you're going to see my branding information here at the top left you're going to see three different tabs here at the top right all representing a different page that could be opened we're on the home page right now and you can see i assigned myself to four separate neighborhoods so it brought me into the imperial woods neighborhood snapshot although i can click on firethorn and be taken there. I can click on Kitty North and be taken there. And I can click on Fawn Lake, Pine Lakes and be taken there as well. I also, as the consumer, have the ability to add a neighborhood myself. So I can click on neighborhood and basically I can start typing in the name or address. So let's just see uh, Covington Woods. Let's see if that will come up. Um, no, but I could put in another address. So let's just say, um, I'm trying to think of another address that I know and I can't think of anything offhand. If I just put in 1810 Cedarwood Court, which is my old house address, um, 
Well, it's going to struggle to pull that one up too. So it looks like there's a little bit of uh, work that needs to be done on adding the actual name of the address or the name of the neighborhood. Uh, but well, I'm sure we'll get this figured out here pretty soon and the consumer will be able to add themselves to a neighborhood. Otherwise, you've already done a great job of adding them to specific neighborhoods. So they have the ability to then look at homes that are for sale on this map. If they wanna look at an area other than one that you've already defined, they can actually draw on the map and it'll bring up the information there. So now it's gonna show me all the properties that are available in that circle. Um, I can also, again, like I said, go to each one of these neighborhoods. The cool part is I can actually look through and let's say this isn't a property I wanna see more information on. And once I click on it, I can start getting more information. I have the ability up here at the top to, well, I can do it from the other page. I can look at all of the pictures. I can request to schedule a tour. Now to go through all of those things as well. You can see it brings in all of the home information, uh, neighborhood information, school information. It allows me to search for a mortgage, brings up information on Keller Covered and Keller Mortgage, and then shows some additional properties as well. And you can see here as we grow through at the very top, overview, neighborhood. As I scroll down, it gets into the neighborhood, then nearby schools and what it will cost. Uh, we are on the full page here. I can actually say, yeah, that's a property I like. I want to favorite that property. Well, it was doing it earlier. Let's see. No, it's not going to let me favorite them for right now. So let's see if Firethorn. Well, not sure why that's glitching out. I was just able to do this two seconds ago. I promise you this was working. So I think it may be that I have more than one page open for some reason. Um, let's see if we close this. Oh, that's because this is the preview. I apologize, this was the preview. This is what the one was from the email. So you can see when I clicked on the one that looked at the email, I can actually favorite properties. Now the nice thing is as the consumer, I'm favoriting properties. When you're in command, you can actually pull up my contact record. And so this one was for Marty Miller, the one I sent myself. So once I pull up my contact record, you can see here on the right hand side, that I was favoriting some properties and here those listings are the ones that I've actually favorited. So that's nice, you as the agent can see what the consumer is doing as far as favoriting properties on their page as well. Um, in addition, the consumer can look at things like neighborhood stats, they can click on that page and be take it in. You can see what's for sale, what's pending, what the average days on market is, what the average house price or home price is, and what the price per square foot. Uh, some areas you'll have MLS providing sold information, not ours, ours is still not providing that. We're working on it, we'll get there soon enough. But again, it shows you nearby schools, it'll show you different places, and you can click on each one of these. Obviously, this is a really small neighborhood, so I already know that none of these actually show up because it's purely residential. But if your neighborhood also had some commercial areas in, you could also pull up you know, nearby coffee shop, restaurants, etc. cetera. Um, nearby neighborhoods down here at the bottom. And then if the consumer wants more information, they can fill that out and send it and it'll come back to me. In addition, at the very top, the consumer can also click on the About Me page and then get all of my marketing information, which has been filled out, um, you know, through the branding aspects of the settings, which we talked about real early on. So that's basically it guys, uh, how to add someone to the monthly neighborhood nurture smart plan by clicking on smart plan and then adding them to it. And then kind of giving you a glimpse of what the consumer is going to look at once they have received the email, right? So this is the email. Once they've clicked on view all in one of these sections, they'll get taken to one of these neighborhood landing pages and you can see all of that information there as well. So it's a really valuable tool. You can think about this. If I'm sending out 300 emails a month and I'm sending out one email 300 times, how effective is that versus sending out 300 unique, customized, individualized emails, one per client to 300 separate clients. The amount of work that I have to do is not that much different. I really just have to get their address and then add them to the smart plan and it's kind of set it and forget it. However, the consumer feels like, hey, I'm getting a curated experience here. I'm getting a one-off email. This is specifically for my neighborhood. I don't care what's happening in Firethorn if I live in Fawn Lake, and I may not happen, care what happens in Fawn Lake if I live in Firethorn. And yet, here's the opportunity to see exactly what's happening in specifically my neighborhood. 
So a great way to really develop one-on-one -on -one relationships with your clients and provide them information that they actually care about. That's it for today, guys. Day 10 of the Keller Williams Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0. I hope you all had a fantastic day and are looking forward to heading back to work tomorrow. I'll look forward to speaking with you in the morning. And until then, guys, all my best.